Matt discusses the present situation that has arisen as a result of the lawsuit that the SAC has filed against Ripple. This litigation has posed a significant risk to the cryptocurrency asset class. This has been brought to people's attention by the community for several years. Brad Gehringhaus and Credit Words have stated that it is an assault on the entire cryptocurrency asset class, not just Ripple. These opinions have been validated by this, and the anxiety that has been built up as a result of more recent occurrences has increased. Uniswap's pricing dropped by 10% as the team committed to defeating the threat posed by the SEC. The management at Uniswap is aware of how much Ripple has contributed to the advancement of other cryptocurrencies, even though the situation is much more deteriorating than the decline of XRP. A lengthy thread was started by the chief legal officer of Uniswap, who brought up Ripple, which the speaker considers to be ridiculous. The speaker who has several different cryptocurrencies, has expressed their displeasure with the activities taken by the government agency. They assert that the Securities and Exchange Commission is exceeding the legal jurisdiction that Congress has granted it. The Securities and Exchange Commission needs to avoid targeting other coins since they are going well beyond the boundaries of what Congress has authorized them to regulate. As a result of the lawsuit that the SEC filed against Ripple, the cryptocurrency XRP had a 25 decline, according to another headline that was published by CNBC on December 23, 2020. Because of this, the value of XRP has disappeared off the face of the earth, which has caused a tremendous amount of damage to blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. The letter from Wells, which states that the Securities and Exchange Commission wants to initiate legal action, is one of the factors that could potentially play a part in the current situation. Should the five commissioners reach a consensus in favor of initiating the action against Uniswap, it is quite likely that the case will be brought against the company. However, taking into account the fact that the litigation has not yet taken place, it is possible that it will not have a substantial impact on the outcome. To summarize, the Federal Securities and Exchange Commission's actions have had a significant impact on the cryptocurrency asset class, and the community has been warning about the potential consequences of their actions. That to protect the interests of cryptocurrencies and the greater cryptocurrency community, the Securities and Exchange Commission must continue its efforts. As a result of the courageous fight that Ripple and the whole XRP community fought, Members of the cryptocurrency community now have a higher level of self-assurance and a lower level of fear than they would have had they not battled. Ripple was the first cryptocurrency to make a big attack on a high cap coin, and it is more likely than not that the bull run will continue. On the other hand, it is anticipated that Uniswap will be confronted with a fight that will last for several years, and traders are currently more optimistic than they were previously. Even though the rest of the cryptocurrency community was alerted by a fellow XRP YouTuber named Bearable Bull in a post. They rejoiced when Ripple was sued. Lawyer Jeremy Hogan says that the reason Ripple was unsuccessful in its initial case was due to the amount of time that was wasted. It was clear to Bear Bubble and everyone else who listened to him that he was trying to convey the message that he did not want other people to suffer. If there hadn't been such a strong presence of tribalism, Things would have been extremely different. Even though they're on the right side of history, Ripple would have been preferable for XRP. And XRP would not have been considered a security for another reason. The outcome might have been different if the entire cryptocurrency community, and not just the XRP group, had exerted a greater amount of effort. When taking into consideration the fact that Congress is the source of the SEC's authority, there may have been a greater amount of opposition to the SEC's efforts to change things throughout the previous few years. Since it was first introduced in 2018, Uniswap has amassed a total volume of more than $2 trillion, making it the largest decentralized exchange that currently exists. Uh, according to Altcoin Daily, which is one of the most popular cryptocurrency channels on YouTube, the Securities and Exchange Commission says C has begun an assault on cryptocurrencies. This kind of intolerance is revolting because Altcoin Daily which has more than a million followers and subscribers, has been slandering XRP for years and pretending as if nothing has happened in the past. Altcoin Daily also talked about going after Binance, Coinbase, and Uniswap for the sake of defending them. However, it completely overlooked FTX Celsius and 3ARS Capital in its attempt to protect these three exchanges. In a different post, attorney Bill Morgan claims that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC filed a lawsuit against XRP when it was just eight years old. The SEC does not file lawsuits against firms for billions of dollars until there is money to be made. This happens when money is involved. 
If they can influence a court into making an incorrect ruling, they are declared the winner of the monetary reward. It is what they do, even though what they are doing is disgusting and immoral behavior. Hooray. The chief legal officer of Uniswap and Marvin discussed the Wells notice that was filed against Uniswap Labs in a piece that was published most recently. Considering that they have already decided that Uniswap breached the law by refusing to approve a Bitcoin exchange traded fund in the lack of sufficient rationale. They argue that this is yet another instance of the SEC abusing its jurisdiction. The Securities and Exchange Commission is only able to control securities, not any asset that is represented by a particular file format or technological standard can be regulated by the SEC. Hayden Adams, the founder of Uniswap Labs, expressed his regret while stating that he was ready to fight the Wells notice. He also stated that his company is confident that his products are legal and that their work is on the right side of history. He went on to say that it is quite probable that it will take years to defeat Uniswap Labs and possibly even end up before the Supreme Court, following the receipt of a notice of threatening action from us regulators, the cryptocurrency for the decentralized exchange operated by Uniswap Labs experienced a precipitous drop to a level that had not been seen in six weeks. Uh, during the 30 minutes that followed the, the receipt of a Wells notice from the Securities and Exchange Commission by Uniswap Labs, uh, the ticker symbol Uni experienced a decline of 10% from $1,121 to $10. Uh, according to the markets that are reported by Cointelegraph, UNI is currently trading at $966, which is the lowest price it has been since the end of February. Hayden Adams, the founder of Uniswap Labs, claimed in an export that the struggle is likely to endure for years and may even reach the Supreme Court. Adams made this statement on April 10th because it was highly improbable that the Securities and Exchange Commission would take any action against Uniswap Labs. He recommended those who were experiencing anxiety to calm down and take a few deep breaths. Stated by Hayden Adams, the founder of Uniswap Labs, the legal war that is being waged against the company is expected to persist for a considerable amount of time and may even reach the Supreme Court. In addition, he mentioned that Hayden Adams, the founder of Uniswap Labs, thinks that the legal struggle would continue for a considerable amount of time and may potentially reach the Supreme Court. Hayden Adams, the creator of Uniswap Labs, expressed his happiness with the current state of events and the fact that the firm is now safe, despite the challenges that they are currently facing. Further, he claimed that Uniswap Labs is prepared to challenge the Wells notice, which asserted that Uni did not meet the requirements to be classified as a securities company or as a broker according to the legal standards of the United States jurisdiction. To summarize, the proceedings taken by the Securities and Exchange Commission CU against Uniswap Labs reflect the agency's lack of transparency and commitment to protecting the interests of the cryptocurrency community, and they encourage anyone who's concerned about the potential consequences of their actions to take a deep breath and calm down because it was extremely unlikely that the Securities and Exchange Commission would take legal action against Uniswap Labs. After serving as the previous Chief of Internet Enforcement for the Securities and Exchange Commission, John Reed Stark has expressed his concerns over the Wells notification. This uh, notification provides recipients with the option to justify the decision of the commissioners to reject a suggested lawsuit. Stark believes that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC would continue to argue that XRPs are not securities, but rather that they possess all of the characteristics of a security. One example of this would be if the SEC were to claim that they believe Pickercoin or XRP is a security. As a response to a Wells notice, he believes that calling the SEC names and reprimanding them is a strategy that is not only ineffective, but also dangerous and pointless. Dark, who has worked for the Securities and Exchange Commission, is opposed to cryptocurrency and is aware of the Wells notice. 